Without taking much of your time, I would like to introduce you all to six brilliant minds present with us today. So to begin with, I'd like to introduce you all to three young aspiring designers who will be my juniors forming the batch of 2025. So first we have Asmi Gupta, a freshman, and she'll be joining us from DPS RK Puram, New Delhi. Now, Asmi is someone who loves experimenting with different art forms. She loves reading. And not only that, she's a fashion enthusiast who, is, who very much believes in the principles of inclusivity and sustainability. Then we have Rohan joining us from Prism College, Hubli. He is a sports enthusiast who's always found playing football or tennis. He's also very inquisitive and loves to explore. Not only that, he actively participates in, env in environmental issues and is very fond of cooking. Lastly, we have Kavya joining us from DPS Bangalore North. She's a very focused, passionate, driven workaholic who's very passionate about fashion and has already worked for influencers with brands like Marc Jacobs and Bulgari. And she's also, and her work has also been featured in Sephora India. Then we also have three of my seniors joining us today. We have Samriddhi, a second year student of communication of product design. She is also the head of the cultural department at ISD. She is also an amazing singer, a dog lover, and loves to sketch, paint, and cook in her free time. Then we have Shubham Kulkani, a second year student of communication design. He's also a part of the student council and heads the editorial department. He's inquisitive, he's quirky, and he's known for having a very lame sense of humor. He's also an avid musician who loves talking in double meanings. Lastly, we have Sai Lee, a fourth year student of product design. She is someone who believes in creating a social impact and wants to uh, enter the domain of human-centered designs. She's again an amazing singer who is very enthusiastic about psychology, philosophy, and quantum physics. Not only that, Sylee has been accepted into Parsons, Glasgow School of Art, and California College of Arts. So now that we have all of us together, let's play a fun little game to know each other better. So we'll be spinning the wheel and we'll be answering the question that we land on. Okay, so to begin with, let's go with Kavya. What is the one thing that often inspires your creativity? Hi everyone, uh, thank you so much, Ritika. I think one thing that really inspires my creativity is being outdoors. Ironic, I'm seeing this in such times. And uh, listening to people. I love listening to people's experiences and their stories. So yes, Pinterest and Instagram and YouTube and other outlets do inspire me, but I feel like that's very limited. So my biggest like uh, inspiration and where I get my creativity flowing is from meeting new people and experiencing things. Okay, that's amazing. Let's go with Rohan now. If I had one fictional character as your friend, who would who I would choose? You? I, I would choose a fictional character from the Marvel series, maybe Iron Man. Because uh, he's rich and fun and I can roam around with him. <laughs> nice. Okay, now let's go with Asmi. So, yeah, so what is the one thing that inspires your creativity? Yeah. Uh, one thing that inspires my creativity, I would say, is other people. You know, the way they express themselves and their art just inspires me and motivates me to create art of my own, which I know sounds an awful lot like plagiarism, but I can assure you that it's not. <laughs> nice. Okay, so now let's go with Sai. In 
interesting. I actually, <laughs> I actually really like Rohan's answer because for some reason I did not think of any of the Marvel characters as fictional characters, and I I love your answer. And I want to steal it, but I'm not going to. Um, so I think I would say Hermione Granger from Harry Potter because she is one of the uh, she's a really well written character, and she's such an amazing friend and such a strong and empowered woman and i think that's that's just really epic so yes i think i would definitely nice 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 now next we'll go with shubham what is your uh, one what, what is your yeah. one skill that you think will make you a good designer i think um that would be my um OCD, so I have uh, I pay a lot of attention to detail, and because of that, I can't handle uh, small misalignments or small mistakes or something like that. So I guess I guess that would make me a good designer in some way. Yes, for sure it will. <laughs> Now next we will go with Samriti. If you had the chance to invite a celebrity or a famous personality over for dinner, whom would you choose? Um. Okay. So I think I would choose Don Norman. I think everyone here who is uh, read the design of Everyday Things knows about him. I I just want to see what he would think of the products on my dining table. If he'd have any opinions about those, so I guess Don Norman. <laughs> nice. Okay. Now I have to answer. <laughs> okay, three things that I would take with myself is firstly, I don't think I have a lot of hunter instincts in me, so I would take Maggi because it's quick, easy to cook, <laughs> and it's also tasty. Secondly, I think I would take my guitar because I love music. I can't do without music, and. it would be nice you know just to play the guitar in this beautiful surrounding and there's ocean and there are no people no work nothing lastly i think i would take a mosquito repellent because there's something about mosquitoes really loving my blood there can be like five people in the room but they'll only come and bite me so i really don't want that to like ruin my entire experience of playing guitar and having maggie on this beautiful island so yeah those are the three things Okay so that was fun now that we are done with knowing each other a bit better i would like to make a small announcement so before we get into the details of the webinar you are more than welcome to put any doubt you have in the chat box and we will gladly answer them towards the end of this session so over to you asmi or uh, you're on mute asmi i am so sorry Am I audible now? Okay, so Sally, since you're a final year student, I would love to know a little bit more about your experience over the years at SD. I'd love to tell you all about it. Could you maybe just move one slide back? Great. Okay. Um. So I'll start by saying that um. I don't know how many about how many of you all saw the videos that were running in the start, but they basically sum up. our college life at sd very very well so i'm going to add to that right um the four years that i've spent here at sd has basically been about finding myself and my ecosystem of peers and friends um the faculty here has been absolutely helpful and absolutely incredible no matter what time when you reach out to them they'll always give you time support and invaluable guidance another thing about uh, sd is that they've always pushed us to go out into the real world and work as soon as we can so right from the first year we've been pushed to take up as many internships as we could and really get that uh, learning as well um apart from that we've always had a lot of industry experts come over as panelists to talk at webinars to review our work and it's always interesting to have that exposure because you get a professional opinion on your work right from the start so i think that is also absolutely incredible 
um apart from that uh, as you must have seen through the videos the social life here is really really great but it's not just fun and games i think there's a learning experience in every little thing so um you know it, uh, your people they're really really supportive and encouraging and um the whole uh the 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 family here at isd basically will always push you to be more open be more social uh make friends have the time of your life make memories and um also it will sort of help you build confidence as well to put yourself out there and participate right so i think uh that's been that's been uh really interesting i'll take you through a few of my projects actually um so this uh one project that i did for the ui ux course that we had was something that really stuck with me because i came into design thinking that you know if you make something that looks good you've done a great job you're a great designer right um and taking this journey has really sort of um shaped my views and my perspective on how i now look at design as a practice and as a philosophy right so um one of the biggest learnings that i've had is that every little thing that you do matters and the smallest of things have the biggest of impacts on the, on the people that you are designing for your users you know the entire ecosystem out there which you will ultimately end up um having an impact on as a designer and there's nothing that you can do alone so it's all about collaboration networking finding the right mentors finding the right people um and i think that is something that you all will sort of or you know get accustomed to very very quickly and you'll enjoy that's one of the best parts of being in the field of design is that you know you don't have to carry the mantle alone you you're all in it together and it's going to be great um I will also tell you a little bit about my thesis project that I'm doing currently. Um, so this has been a great experience for me because, um, so first of all, I'm working currently at a startup in the field of radiology, and what we're basically doing is um, reimagining the experience of taking X-rays, right? Um, and basically, it is about creating and imagining spaces and practices. in the healthcare industry which are more patient centric more empathetic and more inclusive um and what i've learned throughout the course of this project is that even though i am specializing in product design the four years at isd have really equipped me to take on any kind of project right so with this i was able to get into interior design spatial design communication design design of medical equipment ui ux design systems thinking everything right packed into this one project and i could have never imagined uh, when i started the project i could have never imagined uh, you know it expanding into so many tangents and me being able to actually um, you know put put out all of this work and i think that is really really uh, some that's something that i will always uh, remember about this place and the teaching and the learning that i've got from here is that i came into uh, you know the college thinking oh, i'll do this and i'll do that and i had this one track mind and it really opened me up to even my own potential and the possibilities that i could sort of um, explore with so i think uh, the great thing about isd is that they'll always push you to um, do better and think out of the box and no matter what you will always be equipped as a designer to handle any project in the world as long as you have your core principles um, right so um, yeah i think that has been my journey here at isd thank you so much sally that was such a wonderful take on your four years through isd now moving on can i ask ritika your batch being the first batch shift into online learning how was it for you to make friends and build experiences and stuff okay so honestly i remember last year sitting at home and complaining to my mom that this is how i this is not how i would imagine my first year i won't be able to go to campus or anything and i was honestly a little scared about how will i make friends online because i've never met these people before now coming to this year just recently i sent one of my closest friends cards and gifts and flowers and she got back to me saying that how much she loved it and i sat there thinking it's crazy because i haven't even met her trust me the culture at isd is so 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 welcoming 
we have these online parties and one of the sections even did a secret Santa where they couriered their gifts across the country. So trust me, ISD knows how to get you to talk to each other from little things like keeping your videos on so that you know your classmates well to giving you collaborative projects. So trust me, you're going to find so, so, so many amazing people over here from all the four years. And I know we are told not to talk to strangers online, but as long as you break that rule this one time, you are good to go. So <laughs> now taking you through some of the events that ISD organized this year. So we celebrated Ganesh Chaturthi, we celebrated Diwali, we celebrated Independence Day online. Then um, we had Ek Sham Teachers Ki Naam. So this was a very fun Teachers Day celebration where it was completely Bollywood themed and the teachers were given a dare to either sing and dance and it was very, very fun. Now, this was the Halloween celebration. So over here they had like pre-registered groups and they were put into like breakout rooms and then they had to like solve these codes and whichever team reached the main room first was the winner. It was also followed by an after party with like music and more games and it was a huge success. Now this event was such a hit that it had to happen two times. Despite the pandemic, despite all the difficulties, ISD has never failed to give you a platform to showcase your talent. So over here, the spotlight is an open mic event where you can, uh, you can dance, you can sing, you can showcase your poetry skills, and it was a, it was a huge success again. Now, lastly, in the spirit of giving, we had this Christmas celebration where the council body collaborated with one of the NGOs and it was a fun webinar on how to bake a cake, on how to make a Christmas tree and it was again a huge success. So, it, so personally speaking, I know things were online this year, but it didn't feel like it. Like I know the minute we come back on campus, we're going to be like super comfortable with each other. You, we already know and we've made so many friends and like we have, we've already got so close. We understand each other so well. And I would really thank ISD for it because of the events and these small projects that they gave us because they are like one of the main reasons where you build friendship. So yeah, that's it from my side. That's amazing, Ritika. Even though everything's shifting to online, it doesn't seem like you guys missed out on much other. And there's a quick announcement that's need to be that needs to be made. Could I bring JV on Spotlight for a second? Hi everyone, I hope you've all been enjoying the session so far. My name is JV and I'm a fresher and I'm so delighted to bring to your attention an event which will be happening in the next few days. As we all know, because of the pandemic, our batch hasn't been able to meet up with each other directly. And because of that, we haven't gotten to interact or get to know each other very well. So me and a few of my fellow freshmen had an idea which might help all of us bring uh, which might help in bringing all of us a little closer and helping us get to know one another. So the event is called Is These Got Talent, the freshman edit, which will be taking place on the 22nd of May from 5 p.m. to 7 p.m. It is a series of events which will display our talents and hobbies, such as singing, dancing, stand-up comedy, poetry, etc. And it will be an amazing opportunity for all of us to interact with each other, as well as display our talents and skills. Now, Anusha will take you through the details of the event. Thank you. Uh, hi, can, can you all see me? I'm just checking my internet. Okay, so uh, I'm Anusha and I'm gonna talk about our event, If These Got Talent Freshers Edit. So like JV said, the event is on 22nd of May and we've got events like singing, dancing, poetry and stand-up. Now uh, the registrations for the events, they start today and they are they last till 19th. Uh, 17th is when we do live auditions for specifically stand-up comedy. So interested freshers, they can drop down their names and the event they want to participate in, in a link given in our in ISD's Instagram bio. Along with their names, they can submit a short audition clip of what they'll be doing that day. Now, I just want to tell you all that for the audition clip, I hope you don't stress because it's just something casual. We just want to get a look and feel of what you'll be doing that day. And we hope to see you there. 
Well, thank you, JV. Thank you, Anusha. Definitely register all freshers. You wouldn't want to miss out on this one. Well, now, Samjudhi, you being a member of the Student Council yourself, could you tell me more about the activities of the Student Council in SD? Yeah, hello. Hi, can everyone hear me? Yeah. Okay. Yes, you are audible. Uh, yeah. Okay, so hi everyone. I am Samriddhi. I'm from product design uh, discipline. And I just completed my second year at ISD, which means that I have been able to experience one year on campus and then one year off campus. And let me tell you, um, it has been an amazing transition because ISD made sure that we didn't miss out anywhere. I'm sure uh, after Ritika's speech, all of you must have uh, understood that. Um, so on my first year on campus, I said I'm an outstation student. So I was always looking for opportunities to, you know, be part of the amazing campus life, make new friends, be part of the city. And uh, ISD didn't disappoint at all. Uh, the student council at ISD, that is the one which handles all the extracurricular and fun events uh, that take place that um, they cater to the student body. Uh, can you go to the next slide, please? So uh, when I was in my first year, we had these amazing events uh, off campus. There was a Halloween event, there was a Bollywood cosplay, there were sports events, there was an event called Khani Bhido Yaro where uh, students who lived in Mumbai got home cooked food for outstation students. Um, and we also had a prom night. Um, I think it was a very exciting event. Um, this happened just before the lockdown. so. Um, we had a lot of fun. I'm sure you saw the video too before the event started. Um, and uh, so after that, the lockdown happened and we were all confined to our homes. But let me tell you, the, cel uh, the spirit of celebration did not wane at all. Uh, in fact, I was I uh, enrolled in the student council in my second year. I was a head of the cultural club and all the online events that Ritika talked about, these were events that were organized by the student council. Um, so uh, I would just like to tell you a bit about the student council. Uh, this is a student body where freshmen can also join uh, in the capacity of subheads. We have six different departments. Um, there is cultural club, editorial, social media and marketing. There is Thai club, change makers and sports club. So according to your wish, you can join in the capacity of a subhead. Uh, and uh, don't worry, we will send out instructions soon on how you can apply, what all you have to do. And let me tell you, it's a very good platform if you want to get out of your academic life and collaborate with people across all years. Now this event, BTG, uh, can you go to the next slide, please? Uh, yeah, so Design the Globe is one of uh, the student council's major events, which happens every year. And what it essentially does is give you an opportunity to um, work with students, uh, work with your juniors, work with your seniors all together in one team. And you'll be addressing design briefs for uh, on a, uh, like, um, for problems on a national level or a global level, something that will lead to an uh, lead to an impact. So it's a very uh, good opportunity to make sure that your design skills can be applied to your extracurricular activities as well. Um, and being a design student at ISD, it is very important to balance your curricular uh, extracurriculars and academics because there is a learning curve in both perspectives. You'll learn something different from each uh, of those areas. So I have a few of my own academic projects to show all of you. Um, yeah, so this first project is called Bake Aid. Um, it was a project where, uh, it was a design studio project where I had to choose any one brand. In my case, it was KitchenAid and I had to do an extensive research on that brand. And then I had to design a product for their line for the year 2025. Uh, next slide, please. So uh, our professor took us through a series of mood boarding uh, research, asking questions, critical thinking, iterating, sketching, all of these are very important aspects of the design process. And uh, we have great professors here at ISD who will be with you at each step of the way. 
um, they know exactly when to give you constructive criticism, when to give you feedback and when to let you explore on your own. So I think that is a blessing for all students here. Um, next, please. Um, and uh, one thing is, is the always encourages us to be a part of industry projects to take uh, to um, enroll in internships on your own too. It's uh, not that you know, you have to compulsory do an internship just after your second year, you can start even when you're in your first year. So this was an uh, this was a freelance industry project that I did um, in my second year. Uh, if you all know, uh, at the beginning of this year, we had an event called Talkathon 2021 on a national level. It was uh, a campaign under the Atmanirbhar Bharat Abhiyan. And um, I uh, worked to design a character or a mascot for the event. And then consequently, uh, I had to design um, six or seven different iterations in um, according to the criteria of judging in the competition. So I think this was an amazing experience, especially because my discipline uh, of study here is product design. But this was a largely communication and graphic design based project. So uh, I think in a nutshell, what I'd like to tell you all is whatever you learn uh, here, it is not going to go to waste. You're going to use this skill somewhere or the other. So I guess just uh, make good on all the opportunities that SD gives you and have fun. That's all from my side. Thank you so much, Samrudhi. Um, you gave us a really good insight on your entire journey and your projects and everything. So I've seen a lot on ISDI's Instagram uh, about this event called Inferno. And can probably Shubham tell me more about it? Yeah. Yeah, so uh, hi, everyone. Um, I've been a part of Inferno as an event coordinator uh, for this department called Performing Arts. So let me tell you a bit about Inferno. Inferno is actually is these very own intercollegiate creative arts and design fest. And uh, since its inception in the year of 2019, we've had massive, massive successes, both offline and online, uh, with the online platform actually being more triumphant. So in uh, Inferno 2.0, which actually happened last year in the month of November, we had the opportunity to host nearly 34 events with approximately 4,000 participants across, um, you know, different colleges in Mumbai. So, um, you know, as a student from any year, you could take up specific positions from a versatile set of departments, such as the marketing department, you have public relations, you have the editorial department, you have logistics, events, uh, and events is actually the largest department uh, because it has many different sub departments, such as the literary arts department, performing arts, informals, design and visual arts, and much more. So basically, there are a plethora of opportunities that you can find a niche to in your own skill sets and liking. Um, uh, we have some fantastic events also, um, like Fiction Friction, which tested one's knowledge in popular fan fictions. We have something called as BYOB, which is known as Bring Your Own Beats, which was sort of a collaborative music competition. Uh, I think the most famous one was Who Done It, which was a murder mystery game that uh, was quite successful uh, in its online um, course. And, uh, you know, other, other events such as improv, photo art gallery, ridiculous voiceovers, think tank, yeah. I think the best part about Inferno is that it is a completely student-based organization and um, it's organized by students, by the students, for the students, of the students, from start to end. And, uh, you know, each one's role is very crucial and it's, it's like one says, you know, in order for a smooth clockwork, every single gear needs to be oiled well and every single gear needs to function well. And uh, <laughs> in the end, the fruits of our labors are paid off by partying well and partying hard. And Inferno always hosts an after party after this three-day course to celebrate the success, achievements and uh, all the memories across each event. So that's uh, about Inferno. Okay, um, that sounds so exciting and I can't wait to be a part yeah. of it soon. Another thing, um, I, I am from Bando and I feel a lot of us freshers here are coming from our station. And we've heard so much about the social life in Mumbai, the party life, and we've seen so much in like movies and on Instagram. So can you give us a glimpse about how the social life in Mumbai is like? Yeah, so Kaveh, even I'm also actually from Bangalore and uh, when I first came to Mumbai, it made a huge change in my, uh, in the way I look at myself, in my confidence, in my personality and my social life actually. 
So, of course, I speak for all of those who come from different parts of the country because those who have lived in Mumbai would already know what I'm about to say next. So, uh, let me tell you that Mumbai is one city that will make you feel like you're at home, honestly. And although the COVID situation makes it quite difficult uh, to visit Mumbai or even go around the city for that matter, we know it's just a temporary setback. And there are plenty of things waiting to be explored once you're in the city. So, uh, firstly, I'd like to uh, talk about traveling in Mumbai and how traveling by local train has been such an important part of not only my life, but of a majority number of students in Israel. So, as you can see in the first picture, that is what uh, a train looks like when you're late for your 8 a.m. class in the morning. And uh, <laughs> I don't even want to tell you how it looks like when you're going back home in the evening. It is packed, completely packed. Uh, and... Uh, <laughs> I actually found that traveling by train is actually quite a fun experience and it sort of turns into a regular routine once you've experienced it completely and you get away from the fear of missing your train or the fear of, uh, you know, being crushed by numerous number of people around you. So it's like, it's, it's really a different kind of experience. Um, and it sort of made me feel like I could accomplish anything. If I could enter this blockade that you can see, I could do anything. And um, uh, like, it also taught me how to be individual and how to be responsible. So, you know, there are some important lessons behind it. I would remember times where I would have to dash across multiple platforms and had to push random people away and catch that one empty looking train. It was a big headache. But uh, of course, it's much better when you have a friend or a group of friends that you choose to travel with. So um, along with that, South Mumbai is very famous for its Kali Peelis, which have a reputation for rejecting you almost 70% of the time, unless uh, your destination is Palladium Mall. I'm sure you all, you all will get to know about that when you, uh, you know, finally visit the campus, which is located in Lower Palladium. Uh, and this brings me to the nightlife of Mumbai. Next slide. Yeah. So the nightlife of Mumbai, I'm sure all of you are quite eager to know. Uh, Union has been sort of a trademark for SD, and it's sort of like the place for after parties on campus. It's located in Kamla Mills. And along with that, you have places in uh, Bandra and BKC, which are a hub for social life and, you know, meeting and getting to know new people, getting to know one another uh, and stuff. And one can't get the complete experience of Mumbai if they haven't visited Marine Drive and just walked along the, you know, the long pathway next to the sea and just, you know, just introspect on one's thoughts and uh, listen to music or just, just walk. So um, there are many famous landmarks uh, and sites in Mumbai, which I'm sure you all have heard about, like Dadar Kapitar Khana, the Gateway of India, Bandra Bandstand, Victoria Terminus. And I'm sure you all will visit that. It's quite exciting. Uh, the day life of Mumbai is constantly moving just as the traffic keeps moving. <laughs> there are various restaurants and cafes, scat cafes and dog cafes, posh cafes and not so posh cafes. There are open mics, clubs, art galleries, museums, and numerous, numerous fests. So this is a fest called this Little Flea, which happens twice a year. And uh, I think this happened in December. So this is where I went here with my friends. And there, are, it was such a completely different experience where, where you know, there was live music. When there were merchandise being sold in different, different stalls. And there were different games, food. It was, the aesthetic of the entire thing was brought out wonderfully. And um, I, I, I should say, all in all, the city of dreams truly gives justice to its name. Uh, it has a mix of everything from a rich history to an avid social life. Such warm and empathetic people that you absolutely won't find anywhere else. I promise you that. And overall, it's been a truly memorable journey. And I can't wait for each and every one of you to experience what I've experienced. Thank you. Wow. I mean... Uh... <laughs> I'm so excited now, even more excited than I already was. And I can't wait to come. And you guys have to take us around, okay? Like, that's a promise you'll have to make. So, um, there are, uh, me, Asmi, and Rowan have already asked you a bunch of questions. But there are a few more questions that our batchmates have, you know, put down in the chat box. So, whoever wants to take this, just uh, help us out here and clear our doubts. So, I think everyone's overly excited about prom because we most of us have seen the youtube video and uh, samriddhi mentioned a little about it but can you get more into the details or you know how how it is because you all experienced it offline so um i would say in one word it was a very magical experience 
um, we had it on campus itself and you know we got to um, dress all pretty we got to go there and dance uh, have fun with everyone and we actually like um, is the partnered up with um, vice which is like the hospitality uh, college so we had an amazing like uh, we had like um, small foods and drinks throughout the uh, throughout the event and there was a lot of music dancing it was a tr- as i said again i'm just repeating it but it was a truly ma- truly magical experience something that all of you should like look forward to and i'm sure you'll get it because um i'm hoping we'll be back soon so yeah um, it's going to be a fun experience uh, you'll get to meet new people that you'll also have like a prom king and queen so it's going to be a nice as you see it uh, in like cliche tv shows and movies it's like that okay thank you samriti so i have a question if you guys can maybe clear it up for us how do we apply to the student council Uh, uh, there yeah, is something you want to take it okay uh okay sure <laughs> okay so um we will uh, i'm sure all of you have already formed a whatsapp group and we'll also um, surely form like an official whatsapp group for your batch and then uh, we will send out application so it will either be a google form or something similar and then you will have to answer a bunch of questions your name where you're from your section uh why do you want to become a part of the council what can you bring uh, to the council that will be unique and new so uh, we'll be there with you every step of the way we'll send you forms and then you can fill those and then uh, we'll probably have like um, a game session or something that will help us uh, choose who to like who would be a best fit and uh, this year you would be joining as subheads so i think there would be about 3 to 4 subheads per department and you can choose which department you'd like to join um and we'll we'll send out the instructions soon when your academic year starts thank you so much samruti there is another question that uh, how do we choose a specialized specialization after the first year should i uh, i i okay, think okay. i can answer that okay so um after the first year so in the course of the first year you will basically be going through a, a lot of sort of training and the subjects that you take uh, within the first year right uh they sort of push you towards understanding yourself and understanding what you are actually good at and then later on uh, it, it's sort of you spontaneously get to know what you know what fits you the best so whether it's fashion design or whether it's interior design uh i think that's that's why the first year is so important and why it's the foundation year is because it prepares you for what you want to take in the future so you don't have to worry about uh, as freshman right now you don't have to worry about what you you know what discipline should i take or you know how it's going to affect my future or nothing because we have some wonderful faculty and uh, you know, you know wonderful colleagues as well who will sort of help you uh, towards that process and help you towards uh, you know understanding what's actually the best us uh, you know discipline for you so you i do what shubham said i've seen some of my batchmates who came with this in their mind and ended up choosing something else trust me because as they will have like career cafes they will they even introduced an online program pathway course where they gave you an exposure to the specialization for a few weeks so that way you have an even better clarity so you don't have to worry about that right now okay sounds great so i mean even if we do have something to okay. it go ahead go uh, ahead that's right uh, so um i think it is very open as a freshman to be open to everything like i mean obviously i think most of you might have a little idea about what you might want to take up but try to be open to learning everything or exploring every aspect of design because you know over the course of one year i've observed that preferences change you you'll come in with you know wanting to go into one specific discipline and you'll say at the end oh this is something totally different i don't want to do this so be open and try to explore all different kinds of subjects don't uh, because this year is where you'll get to explore a lot so yeah 
thank you so much for that reminder i think a lot of us needed that and i'm sure if we have any doubts you guys are just going to be there to clarify uh, there's one more question we got so i think that'll be the last question is that we've spoken uh, you guys have spoken all about you know is these fests and all of that so do you all participate in other college fests and how's the rapo with you know other colleges in mumbai i think we have a really good rapport with other colleges in mumbai and we have uh, a fantastic outreach uh, that sort of you know we have i think uh, when you're in hd it's all about gaining contacts so the more contacts you have the more you're able to know that okay there, there's there's an there's a fest happening somewhere else or uh, there's an event happening somewhere else and naturally people come and approach you naturally they sort of send out uh, some kind of circle you know, or some kind of notice and uh, when you finally see that you're like okay you know this is something i'm interested in and i want to participate probably it's a fashion event or it's a it's a, it's a graphic design contest or you know it's an intercollegiate competition something like that so yeah okay um this is supposed to be the last question but there's someone called mehak who asked me uh, I mean, any of us. What made you decide that is Z is the one that you want to be a part of? So basically, why did you choose this D? So who wants to take that on? Yeah. So uh, when I had to make the decision last year, hmm. I saw the course of is D, and it was very well curated. Like they give you an exposure. to the industry from the first year itself so i'm the first year so i can only speak from the first year perspective but um i had some of my friends my seniors who told me about the faculty and it's very welcoming they are always ready to help you out and the culture in all it is not like only academics it always pushes you towards extra curriculars you know building up your overall personality so that was one thing which was very important for me so that was my reason for choosing isd yeah. i think uh, as a fresher um the reason because i haven't ever like been to campus or anything the reason i uh, finalized and like chose isd is because i've attended like a lot of these webinars uh, since jan so i remember me and few of my friends from school we've kept on you know we kept on attending these webinars and more than just you know being in complete awe of is the and the campus and the course it offers i feel like the dynamic that um, everyone at is the has because i remember in feb i would text so many seniors and even through this uh, when we all met for the first time you guys are so open and you're also like welcoming and there's no hierarchy between you know seniors and juniors and even the teachers i've called them so many time for such stupid but they've always like cleared them for me so that's the reason i chose this tea and i'm so happy even though nothing has started no classes have started i'm always like overly excited <laughs> i think we have a question one more question from nishan tiyadi uh, can you tell us more about is these hostel and accommodation facilities Uh, so I can answer part of it, I guess, because uh, I uh, so is D obviously has uh, I think is D paired up with Crescent Bay, and uh, you can find accommodation there. I I am not the best person to answer to that because I did not avail or I did not go on that route. but as an outstation student what i did was um find a pg on my own um there are a lot of facilities that you can avail around the college there's areas like dadar prabha devi bandra um where you know because there are a lot of colleges in those areas you will find um you'll easily find um uh, hostels or pgs so you can get in touch with an agent and uh, you can approach them on your own and um i think if we have anyone here from crescent bay they can uh, talk more about that there's also one uh, apartment yeah. 
apartment complex you know called lodha and from right. this year uh, this is what we freshers were told that is even has a hostel facility so i feel like if you email anyone uh, at is the like the office i think they'll be better to help you out <laughs> with it there is one more question i think sandeep you can answer this what are the accommodation costs like near the campus uh, because obviously it's in a uh, pg right so yeah yeah right so near the campus i would say um be open to spending anywhere near uh, 15 to 25000 per month for your uh, for your accommodation your electricity bills all of those things and um yeah i guess that's it i mean you can obviously um, explore with a uh, with a retail agent and you'll i'm sure you'll find uh, the best choice for yourself Yeah, so I think it depends on a lot of factors, like different areas of Bombay and uh, who are you in touch with. So I think the ISD team would better guide you on the uh, partnerships that they have with accommodation this year. It keeps changing from time to time, so do sh- make sure that you contact ISD for it. So I think we are done with the questions. So you know, before you all leave, Ritika, uh, I'll just put myself on spotlight so that you can see me. Before you all leave, we have a small video that we want to show you all. Um, you all did a fabulous session, and I think now I know where to find each one of you all if you all are ever bunking lectures when you all are in Bombay. I'm going to go directly to Palladium or Union or somewhere. So <laughs> thank you for letting those secrets out. But uh, we have one video that we want to show you all. Uh, we'll just be playing it right away. Hi everyone, my name is Jay Ranjit and the Associate Director of Student Experience at ISD as well as a faculty in the first year and I'd like to say a big big hello to Ritika, Ritika Jha. Uh she is a wonderful member of our student community and I'm very happy to say that I've been a faculty of hers throughout the first semester. She is excellent at what she does. She has a great ability for tackling problems head on, taking things on as challenges and just saying, you know what? There has to be a way to figure this out. Uh, she has also proven herself very very well in terms of being a team player and working with everyone and i can't wait to see where she goes with her journey ahead as part of an isd uh, community as part of a design community and also just as a br- brilliant individual herself uh, she is very very capable and uh, i'm glad to have been a part of her education journey so far hey rohan we are all so proud of you for the kind of person that you have evolved into and continue to be so continue to be ever loving ever caring and ever supportive and the beautiful human being that you are as you embark your journey into the new life papa i and dhru we all join in wishing you all the best have a great life ahead and enjoy yourself most importantly have faith and confidence in yourself also trust the almighty who is always blessing you and with that he is wishing you all the best always beta bless you beta hi samruddhi so uh, we've worked together in this last semester and i must say it's been a pleasure uh, working with you through the design studies course um it's been a lot of fun also uh, seeing you interact in class take the lead with all your peers and at the same time come up with some crazy presentations uh, when you had to present uh, different design movements um i hope you keep up the energy i hope you keep up the hard work and wishing you all the best for the next semester navya is a go getter compassionate and a very very creative person from a very young age She was very focused in what she wanted to do, and I'm very glad that she'll be pursuing her dreams at ISD Mumbai. Wishing her the best in life always. Hi, Sally. Hope you're doing well, and I hope uh, you enjoy this video as much as I enjoyed making it. Um, so, uh, if I have to describe you in one word, I would say you're an energy bomb. all uh, right i've seen you work very hard through uh, the last three semesters 
I've seen you do your research diligently. I've seen you pick some exciting topics to work on. And I've also seen you work hard taking all the feedback that you can and convert them to projects. Um, I've also seen you get really nervous, but at the same time pull through with some really good work at the end of it. So uh, keep it up. Uh, keep going with the determination that you have and uh, wishing you all the best. Me is what we wanted her to be. A confident, enterprising young girl. Her biggest strength is to choose what she wants to achieve and then put all her efforts to achieve those goals. We promise her wholehearted support and wish for her a wholesome and fulfilling life. Hi Shubham, um, this gives me immense pleasure to be introducing you today on this platform. Uh, in the last one year, I have interacted with you through our courses of History of Design and Introduction to Design Studies. And I must say how amazingly well you have done in both the courses. What I've really appreciated over this year is your eye for detail. How well you go into the details of understanding a topic, critically analyzing it, and then moving forward to express it in the best possible way. I will never forget the film that you and your group mates made when we were talking about stories from the regions and you, you guys collected stories about Maharashtra. Thank you so much for being who you are. It's a joy to interact with you in the classroom. And I look forward to having you in many other classes, interacting with you at various other platforms. And uh, yes, seeing you grow as an independent visual communicator, as a storyteller, and an amazing human being that you already are. Thank you so much. Best wishes for today and always. That was a surprise for us. And as you can see, our faculty knows us and is always there for us. And I'm a little emotional. That was so sweet. Um, I would also like to tell you all something. A lot of freshmen have volunteered to host these events, and we assure you that ISD will give all of you a chance. And now to end this, I would like to say thank you so much for joining us this evening. It was a Saturday evening, still you gave us your time, and we are grateful for that, and we hope this set session was really insightful and gave you a glimpse of what life at ISD is. If you have any more doubts, you are always free to uh, come to us and ask them and we will be more than happy to solve them for you. So thank you so much and we hope to see you on campus. Thank you everyone. Thank, thank you, you so everyone. much everyone. Thank you everyone. Stay safe everyone, see you there.